Description of engine operation The first axial rotary diesel engine in the world, designed by Kozlov and Regel. Displacement volume is 1.8 liters, design power 300 horsepower at 5000 revolutions per minute. Four-stroke internal combustion engine is provided with two combustion chambers. The working channel is a sinusoidal tour. All working strokes take place during one revolution of engine shaft. Gas distribution holes and a fuel injection nozzle with a glow plug are provided on each motor cover. Air is drawn in by the rotating rotor blades through the inlet hole, gets compressed and then is fed to the fuel injection area where the fuel injection nozzle is installed. Owing to the compression ratio which is 16 to 1 and the glow plug the fuel ignites. The glow plug is activated only at the moment of starting. Further combustion is sustained by means of continuous fuel injection and the air fed by rotoring blades. The gases expand, thus rotating the rotor, and further go through the outlet hole. Unlike a piston engine, the rotor of this design is rotating uniformly and in one direction. This makes it possible to avoid vibration and obtain high engine working shaft torque. The rotor performs the function of a flywheel. All working strokes take place in the second combustion chamber, which is located inside the second cover with 90 degrees displacement over the direction of rotor rotation. This model is provided with a common rail electronic direct injection fuel metering equipment. The system consists of Bosch CP3 high pressure rotary pump, a fuel accumulator and two injection nozzles. The rotor shaft drives the pump via a belt transmission. Fuel from the pump via high pressure mains is fed to the manifold where the pressure is maintained at a level of 1350 bars. The speed of rotor rotation is changed by changing the frequency of injection nozzles operation. We use compressed air to start the engine, feeding the air into the combustion chamber. Such method of starting is successfully used in aviation and for other types of military recoils. Closed circuit circulation oil system is used on this model, which makes it possible for the engine to operate in any attitude. The weight of assembled engine does not exceed 100 kg with a diameter of 420 mm. The engine design allows uh, installing similar sections engine on one shaft, thus making it possible to assemble compact engines of various types um, using similar parts. and of various power. The modern electronic fuel metering equipment organically goes with very simple, reliable and adaptable to manufacture mechanical part of the engine, requiring uh, only several minutes to assemble. One half of the sinusoidal channel is integrated in each cover. The rotor rotates easily owing to the bearings and special sliding plates. Ten pairs of blades are fitted in the rotor slots. Each blade is provided with a compression seal ring, same as in traditional piston engine. When the engine is running, the ring rotates around the blade. Exactly this engineering solution allows obtaining the service life comparable with the service life of a piston engine. When rotating the blades slide in the channel formed by the covers in a space ring. Volume is changed between each pair of blades, rotor and cover. Closed circuit oil system, constant temperature in the combustion chamber, enables the engine to meet the most rigid uh, environmental requirements. It's difficult to undervalue the possibility of using different types of fuel. This engine may be used for small aircrafts, motor cars, shipbuilding and military equipment, wherever the powerful economical multi-fuel engines are needed.
A special gray creek was constructed for testing a pilot model of axial rotary diesel engine. On the right you can see a rigidly fixed rotary engine, which is connected with the braking gear on the left via a power shaft. The air quantity consumed by the engine is registered by a mechanical flow meter in each section alternately. The engine is started by means of compressed air fed to the combustion chamber from pressure vessels. During the test we can check the following parameters – motor resistance force, pressure, temperature and the quaternity of consumed air, speed and engine working shaft torque, vibration level, noiseness and many others. Stop. Even under low speed the coefficient of charge is higher than the design one and exceeds the best piston diesel engine models. The instrumentation used during the testing is not up to date and does not allow the possibility of complex computer data processing. This complicated the testing to a certain extent, however. High accuracy of measurements is preserved. Basing on the data obtained, we are planning to manufacture a prototype, allowing carrying out fatigue test. The prototype design will be close to the production one and will be manufactured using the same fabrication technique that will be used for a full-scale production. Full-scale production. Stop.